Perfect Short, brought to you by Online Financial Sector. The shares of Titan Machinery are at high risk due to its being afflicted with a severe case of the EPS syndrome. The EPS syndrome is an extremely rare financial statement disorder that Enron and Lehman Brothers were diagnosed as having prior to their unexpected bankruptcies. The EPS syndrome was discovered by Michael Markowski after he performed a post-mortem autopsy on Enron. He then also discovered that there were others that had experienced the syndrome, including Sunbeam, which had gone out of business unexpectedly during the five years prior to Enron's going into bankruptcy. Markowski's discovery of the EPS syndrome led to his developing an algorithm which can automatically detect it in the financial statements of all publicly traded companies. He also founded the StockDiagnostics.com website, which provides EPS syndrome diagnostics charts across all publicly traded companies. The EPS syndrome algorithm measures the quality of a public company's EPS or earnings per share. Here are bar charts which depict the quarterly EPS or earnings per share of two actual public companies which had almost identical EPS over four quarters. Both appear to be healthy based on their EPS. Both have reported record EPS. Both are recommended by Wall Street analysts as strong buys. However, one of them has EPS syndrome and is on the verge of going out of business. The difference between ADP, which is the company on the left, and Suprema, which is the company on the right, is that ADP's OPS, an acronym for Operating Cash Flow Per Share, is positive or green, and for Suprema, its OPS is negative or red. Each dollar of reported earnings, ADP generated more than one dollar of positive cash flow. On the other hand, Suprema generated more than a dollar per share of negative cash flow for each dollar of its reported earnings. Within two months after a Wall Street brokerage firm raised Suprema $60 million from a secondary stock offering at $13 a share, its shareholders lost everything when it filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. This 20-quarter chart depicting Suprema's EPS and OPS tells the story of just how bad Suprema's negative OPS was. Its EPS indicates 15 consecutive quarters of record earnings and its OPS indicates 20 consecutive quarters of negative OPS or cash flow. Below are the mutual funds including Fidelity and Scudder Kemper who owned at least 5% of Suprema when it filed for bankruptcy. In the box in the upper right hand corner are the Wall Street strong buy recommendations that were initiated in late 2001. Shortly after Suprema fell, Astro Power was discovered and it was one of the first companies that Stock Diagnostics issued an EPS syndrome warning on in May of 2002 at $22 per share. With all of its positive EPS quarters and three positive OPS quarters out of the last 20 quarters, it looked almost as bad as Suprema. However, there were all of these brokers who had either neutral or buy recommendations on its shares. Its shareholders, including more than 250 institutional investors, lost everything when it filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy 18 months later. Here are the annual OPS charts for Lehman Brothers and A.G. Edwards from 2004 to 2008, which is the last year that they both traded as a public company. In 2008, Lehman went bankrupt and A.G. Edwards was acquired for $84 per share in cash. Here is Merrill Lynch's annual OPS chart for the same five-year period. It was acquired by Bank of America in 2008 at a share price that was 90% below where its shares were traded when it was diagnosed with the EPS syndrome in 2007. In a September 2007 article that he wrote in his Equities Magazine column, Mr. Markowski advised his readers that a day of reckoning was approaching for all five of Wall Street's brokers, including Lehman and Bear Stearns, etc. All of them had been diagnosed as having the EPS syndrome in the 12 months before the September 2008 financial crash. Mr. Markowski has identified Titan as one of his perfect shorts, and he has been monitoring it very closely. The company has reported a cumulative of $95 million in earnings, yet it has generated $380 million in negative OPS or cash flow over its past three years. Despite bleeding so much cash, Wall Street analysts still don't get it. There are currently three buy recommendations, five hold recommendations, and only one sell recommendation. There are 162 institutions who hold 90% of Titan's shares. These institutions and their investors stand to lose hundreds of millions of dollars. To get more information on this perfect short and others, visit www.onlinefinancialsector.com.